We are back on Sister Circle Live. I'm going to ask Mr. Gordon, Mr. Brown. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. 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 Y'all cut that music off way too quick. I thought they told me we were going to just come out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, went two, we went two seconds into it and everybody straightened up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, you know, we got to ease into it. All right. All right. All right. We so didn't we, know how much you wanted to jam out. Right. I understand. We I didn't understand. know. Right. I'm not that dude. You're not you. that dude. Okay. Everybody thinks I'm really straight. I was two vo votes away from class clown in high school. Oh, really? really? I am. I, listen, I got a friend who, I can't use the word, but it's that favorite word black folk use. Yeah. Uh -huh. So anytime he sees me on TV, he said, I don't know who that N word is. <laughs> It's, that's all right. That's right, all right. Right, right, right. Right, I understand. I just play that person. dude on TV. No, okay. Okay. I understand. Okay. You believe your Instagram. Just look at my Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, so we do want to get serious since we have yes. uh, the esteemed journalist and yourself uh, here today. I want to get your thoughts on, on Bill Cosby. It's sad. It's a sad story at the end of the day all around. Yes. I, I've known Mr. Cosby for years. He was gracious enough to take me to dinner on a number of occasions. Um, Let's be honest, all of us, particularly the African-American community, are really struggling with this. Yes, yes absolutely. Because mm -hmm. we understand what he did, and he has to pay for that. Yes. Right. And I keep hearing, oh, well, it obliterated his legacy. No, it hasn't. I mean, at the end of the day, he, Cliff Huxtable is going to be Cliff Huxtable. Yes. Right. Yes. Yes. Right. yes. Absolutely. So, it's tough for me. I pray for the victims. I pray for Mrs. Cosby and the rest of his yes, family. Yes. And, I play, I, and I pray for Bill Cosby. Mm -hmm. Because at some point, he was sick. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you just don't do this. But it's, it's just a sad, sad day mm -hmm. all, all, all around. around. Yeah, yeah. All around. That was my exact sentiment. Yeah. Mr. Gordon, I... <clears throat> is this the question? This is the question okay. I'm very all excited right. to ask. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> very excited. Uh, okay, so recently Kanye West has taken to Twitter and social media just really uh, mindless rants about his um, connection with Donald Trump and his support of Donald Trump and his mm. endeavors. Now, uh, recently a video, well not recently, but I, I saw a video online where Dave Chappelle was in an interview and he was saying it's irresponsible to call people crazy because maybe it's not the person, it's the environment that the person is in that is making the person right. behave the way they're doing. What are, what is your take um, on Kanye just coming out of nowhere with this kind of rant? Well, look, I don't know Kanye West other than passing. Um, he's done controversial and strange things before. Black mm -hmm. folk have an issue with Donald Trump first and foremost. Yes. Steve Harvey got beat up. Jim Brown got beat up. Ray Lewis got beat up. Anytime Omarosa... Uh huh. Well, uh, so, that. Uh, I, I, you know, here, here's my take. I, I don't know Kanye's state, mental state, but my thing is we put too much credence in celebrity mm -hmm. anyway, right? Mm -hmm. If Kanye West wants to endorse Donald Trump, God bless him. Do Good your luck. thing. Mm. You know, you can be politically confused. That's cool with yeah, me. I'm politically you confused. Know, I, mean, I like that. That's the way that. I look I like at that, right? I honestly think he's politically confused. I don't know. I really don't know. He's working on an album. And, that, this is and, and, that, and it could start. just simply be that. And it's just that. I and, honestly believe it's And he could be playing this. But let's say he isn't. That's still his business. Mm -hmm. I, I, I think we're too caught up in that. I think we're too caught up in Omarosa as opposed to making mm -hmm. sure that voter registration comes, Come that on. in 2018 we get out there and vote, yes. that in 2020 we find someone who is going to be better suited. I'm not even saying a Democrat, but mm -hmm. better suited to dealing with the issues that African Americans still have yes. because we still have tremendous issues in our country mm -hmm. as relates to being behind. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, and if we don't deal with those, we're going to stay further and further behind because we're not going to catch up anytime soon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's keep our, as, as the old folks used to say, eye on the prize. Mm -hmm. Let's not fall for the flim flam, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And deal with what we need to deal with. I, well, I definitely agree. I think everything he was saying was irrelevant. Yeah. Mm. Just yeah. good old fashioned. Who cares? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, speaking of black men, uh, what are your thoughts on the two men at Starbucks being arrested. And, uh, you know, Starbucks is also closing down 8,000 stores next month for racial bias training, which should have been given in the beginning. In the beginning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but let's not, look, let's not beat up on Starbucks too much mm -hmm. in this sense. Okay. If we're going to shut down Starbucks, we might as well shut down 
corporate America, mm -hmm. network mm -hmm. television. Mm -hmm. I mean, come on, the NFL. Mm -hmm. So the reality is, as black people, you know, I, I was talking to some white colleagues, and they're like, oh, my God, I was so surprised. Black people weren't surprised. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We know that you can't go to a Waffle House. We saw the young woman get aggressively arrested. Which, you I'm, can't I'm, go yeah. to Starbucks and sit there, right? You can't do a lot of things that white folks are able to do. Mm -hmm. So let's just deal with race across the board. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You know, I like to ask whites who tell me, no, race wasn't involved. I said, well, tell, you tell me an incident where race was involved. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because at that point, if mm -hmm. you think race wasn't involved, mm -hmm. then you're being ignorant to what America has been and is for far too long. Yeah. So. While I, while I applaud Starbucks mm -hmm. for giving that training, yes. uh, we also have to think about individuals because I don't know if it's a culprit uh, <laughs> concept of Starbucks or whether it was that individual manager yes. in that store that day. But uh, it's much bigger than that incident. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, you just spoke on what happened recently in Alabama at, at the Waffle House um, where there was a woman who was violently tackled down to the ground by police um, and, and actually disrobed. Um, what's your take on that? And we hear that there's talk of a boycott. Yeah, I mean, look, uh, boycotts are fine. I think that we should continue those, but we have to find new narratives for black Americans, yes. mm -hmm. right? And I'm not saying that we shouldn't boycott. I'm not, but, but I think we have to be critical of black leadership in this country. Mm -hmm. uh, we have to say, what's our game plan? Yeah, what's man, our narrative yeah. and what are we doing? Because yeah. if you look at the last 20 years, to a degree, we've been implementing and doing the same kinds of things, and yes, the needle yes, has yes. not moved enough. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so yeah. while I think we should continue, and when you hit people in their pocket, that does hurt. Yes, it we does. need more than just a boycott. We need a plan. We need leadership to get together. If you're going to call ourselves leadership, let's be more than just getting on social media and taking a picture in the VIP section of Essence Fest oh. and saying, I'm here for black people. Come on. Mm -hmm. All right? Come I, I, I need I more of that. I yes. 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 Please. Oh, please. <laughs> I, I, I really want to know what your take is. It, I'm, I'm so glad that you talked about this book. What are your thoughts on people that say that Obama didn't do anything in the term that he was in there and how he is representing for um, the love that he has for the country now that he's not in office? Mm -hmm. What are, so, what are so your I thoughts think, on uh, that? President Obama is one of those things that, one of those people and things that black people can't criticize in public. Mm -hmm. I think that President Obama and his family did a lot for African Americans by means of simply just the image of a black yes. family and all of those things. Yes. Did he do a lot politically from, for African Americans? No, probably not. Did he do as much as he could? No, probably not. But we also have to look at what he faced. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, and there's a reality that he was only going to be able to do so Come much. much mm -hmm. So I keep telling people, you can be critical of President Obama or the NAACP or anybody else you want, as long as you look in the mirror and ask yourself, what, what am I doing? What are you exactly. doing? And, 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 and this is, I, I just got to get it out there. Okay, Will you we got ever about run 22 me? seconds. Yeah, we should <laughs> For a political no, position. No, no, ma'am. Yeah. All right. No, ma'am. All right, that was Okay, one more question. question. All right. Will you ever come back to Sister Sir? Absolutely. Yeah. 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 That's what we like to hear. I'm not leaving. Okay, girl. <laughs> well, hey, girl, and thank you so much for being here today and sharing your perspective. We definitely appreciate that. Be sure to catch a syndicated radio show weekend with Ed Gordon on Sirius Radio.